Pre-made projects and startup files provide a solid base to build your web development skills. The two websites I am about to share are perfect for those of you learning web development on your own. My love for web development started in 2004 when Orkut became the trending and widely used social networking website. With no prior coding and design skills, I knew I had to start somewhere. So I picked the most famous HTML for Dummies book to learn the basics of HTML and CSS. Within a few months, I coded my own social networking website. Although the website never went online, but it helped me gain a valuable skill. Little did I know, HTML was soon overshadowed by PHP and I completely went bonkers. Trends changed and unfortunately, I wasn't able to cope with the latest web development tech. According to the recent Stack Overflow's developer survey, JavaScript is the most popular language among professional web developers for the 11th year in a row. The internet's most popular websites like Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, YouTube and many others rely on JavaScript to create interactive web pages and dynamically display content to users. It's also important to understand that HTML and CSS have remained the fundamentals to web development. They are the backbone of any website, setting the structure and style upon which languages like PHP and JavaScript build more complex functionalities. Now, the moment we think of learning a new skill, the first question that comes to our mind is how long will it take me to learn it? And the second question, how long will it take me to master it? While some expert says that it takes 20 hours to learn a skill and 10,000 hours to master it, most of us have a different opinion. In a skill like web development, where trends and technology change every few years, it is hard to pinpoint the exact number of hours, days, months or even years it can take to learn. Moreover, the idea of mastering web development when you are just getting started is counterproductive. It can be a significant barrier to exploring the skill in the first place. While web development language is one of the major key principles of good web design, other factors like layout, colors and graphics are an important part of the front-end development process. Tools like Adobe Photoshop and Canva play an important role in creating engaging visuals. So I recommend you to set aside some additional time, say a month or two, to learn these tools. When I was researching on the web for this video, I came to know about the struggles and setbacks people face when learning how to code. Out of all, the most common struggle that was mentioned consistently was how difficult it is to start building projects from nothing. CSS, being a cornerstone technology of the World Wide Web, handles all the visual presentation of a website. A lot of beginners always skimp on CSS skills as they all want to learn the programming language first. And you know, there's a good reason for that. Designing websites is a whole skill on its own. Therefore, creating everything from scratch may seem like a difficult task. So how can one solve such a problem? The solution is easy, using pre-made real-world projects or starter files. The main idea behind such projects is that you get design ideas and instructions. What and how to create is up to you. Pre-made projects and starter files provide a solid base to build your web development skills. They are great for several reasons. First, they help you get better at front-end coding by tackling challenges in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. They also allow you to create and display a portfolio on GitHub, which is a great addition to your resume. Learning through projects won't cost you a thing, since most of them are open source. Plus, you are not alone in this. Other learners and community members are working on the same projects, which means you can exchange solutions and get feedback on your code. And if you are feeling confident, you can boost your own understanding by providing feedback on others' work. The two websites I am about to share are perfect for those of you learning web development on your own. Honestly, looking at some of the projects these sites offer, I can't help but think I wish I had access to these when I was learning. Frontend Mentor has a number of challenges in the form of design specs and starter code. Your goal is to make your web page or web app look as close to the provided design as possible. For example, if a challenge is to build a landing page, the Frontend Mentor will provide you with an image of what the final web page should look like, along with all the necessary assets to get started. This includes the design files, optimized image assets, fonts, HTML files, and pre-written code and other files needed to complete the project. There is also a solutions page to help you go through other members' codes and error reports and let you post suggestions and feedback. If you take on a challenge and complete it, like coding a landing page we discussed earlier, you can post your code 
live site url design comparison and error reports on the solutions page for other front end mentor members by the end of each challenge you'll have a beautiful new addition to your web development portfolio the odin project was founded in 2013 by eric trotman it's a free open source web development curriculum with more than a million learners and 5000 plus contributors the quality of learning resources and projects on the odin project can be seen and felt by the success stories of thousands of its members its curriculum is full of web development projects that will help you build a strong portfolio of your work there are three learning paths in the odin project to take foundations full stack ruby on rails and full stack javascript as a complete beginner, a ride along the foundations path will introduce you to all the essential tools needed to build websites. You will learn how to install and configure a development environment and other software necessary for web development. Later down the road, you will be introduced to the basics of front-end development languages like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. You will then work on a mini project and create a basic recipe website. The next learning part to take is the full stack Ruby on Rails, where you learn everything you need to create beautiful responsive websites from scratch. This curriculum will make you an expert in both front-end and back-end languages and frameworks, server, network and hosting environment. Full stack Ruby on Rails is by far the most detailed and time-consuming learning path as there are numerous lessons and more than 40 projects to work with. With more than 25 real-world projects, this learning path is all about getting skilled in JavaScript and Node.js. It is divided into three modules, JavaScript, HTML and CSS and Node.js. The lessons in JavaScript and HTML and CSS modules are the same as the ones in the full stack Ruby on Rails curriculum. The additional Node.js module will help take your JavaScript skills to the server side. In simple terms, you will learn how to execute JavaScript code outside a web browser, typically on a web server. Before you decide on taking a path, be it the full stack Ruby on Rails or the full stack JavaScript or both, make sure to go through the fundamental scores for the basics. Remember, the journey of learning web development is not a race, it's a marathon. It's not about how quickly you can learn a skill, but how well you can adapt and apply it. Before I end this video, I challenge you to start a project today. Pick a challenge from the front-end mentor or an assignment from the Odin project. Dive in, get your hands dirty with code and build something amazing. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.